Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to replace the chip on a controller of a BMW vehicle. So the chip is situated right here and uh, this is how the replacement chip looks like. I'm going to show it to you with a zoom camera. Um, yeah, so this is how we replace this. We need to replace this uh, in order to fix certain issues with these uh, a replacement to buy a replacement unit it's going to cost you a lot of money um, nearly over a thousand and, and whatnot but just replacing the chip for a few dollars will fix the problem which is much more uh, cost-effective solution all right let's get started so the first thing we need to do is we need to take a picture of the chip and make sure we see the polarity because pin 1 and pin 2, all those pins, uh, cannot be uh, switched. It has to be exactly the way it is. Now, in this chip right here, as you can see, uh, they didn't mark pin 1. Usually on all these chips, they mark what pin 1 is, what pin 2 is. Unfortunately, here they did not. They did, so it doesn't say where is pin 1. And if you, if you look on the replacement right here, let me put this down because it's out of focus there. If you look on the replacement, it doesn't have pin 1 either. So what you need to do is you need to make sure it's aligned in the right way. So the writings are uh, readable from this direction. And that's how you do it. Normally, they have a mark for pin 1 and on other chips. So like, for example, if you look at this chip, this is from something else. There's a marking that says that's pin 1. So let's remove this first. To remove this, we need soldering iron. Uh, we need a soldering iron that heats up to up to four, 750 uh, uh, degrees Fahrenheit. 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that it is not degrees Celsius because that will melt everything. So what we do is we put uh, solder on one end first. And, and first we will put some uh, soldering paste. The soldering paste, which is this guy, um, will simply provide more uh, uh, distributed heat. So the heat is not concentrated in one place, it's more like distributed. That's what it does. Now we will use a prying tool to remove it from one end, something like this. Let's get a different one because that one is too thick. So as you can see, one edge is completely left up. Uh, let's remove this excessive solder. So now it's only sticking on the other edge. We have to put some soldering paste there as well. With the second uh, edge, you don't need to get a prying tool, you can just grab a tool to pick it up because it's already loose from the other end. So. There it is, successfully removed. Now we have to, this is the defective chip, that's the new one. So. You have to flatten this, make sure all the pins, they don't have excessive solder.
Now we put the replacement chip. Let me get out the take out the replacement chip. Okay, so I got the replacement chip and it has to go in this position so it can be read from this direction. When you're putting the replacement chip, first only anchor one, one pin, just one pin. So one pin is anchored, now align the rest. Okay, that the first pin that I was under the impression that was anchored, it wasn't. So I'm going to do it again. Let me align it correctly. This is not as uh, simple as it may seem. There, now it's aligned very nicely. I'm going to anchor this pin right here and get just a little bit of solder I believe I did it this time let's find out yes it, it got anchored correctly on that edge and now all I have to do is anchor the second one and solder the rest Did you see there was a solder bridge, which I avoided? You need to use substantial amount of soldering paste to prevent solder br soldering bridge. Any residue of solder is not accepted, you have to remove it and clean it. It looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect it with a magnifying glass. This is a very, very high um, magnification magnifying glass. So I'll pull this out so that I can see it with a magnifying glass. It looks great. So it is done successfully. Yeah, so that's how you solder this that glasses this is like 3.5x so you can't see it once you remove it you can't see anything all right thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe